morning, ladies and germs. Uh, I was just talking about a uh, to MD Outdoor Reviews about purifying water. And I was explaining how I use elemental iodine to, to purify water if I needed to. Uh, and this is what I use. This is a one ounce amber bottle and enclosed in it is uh, 15 grams of iodine. This is elemental iodine. If you can get a decent shot of that, if I don't get too much glare. You can see that. Okay, so what we need to do is go over some safety things first. Okay, first of all, um, you don't want to breathe the fumes off of this. You don't want to touch it. If you've ever had a, an accident and you got and you spray iodine, they have liquid iodine. Uh, this is better than liquid iodine. Uh, you wouldn't, I mean, you could in a pinch use this as a iodine tincture, uh, but we can get into that. That's another video. Uh, but this is just specifically for purifying or killing water. Uh, what you would want is seven. The, 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 here's the formula: it's seven and a half grams of iodine in a one ounce amber bottle. So this is 15 grams, you would split that in half, you would need a digital scale uh, that can measure in grams. Uh, you can find those wherever, you could use a triple beam balance, just, just keep in mind that uh, whatever you use to pour or distribute the elemental iodine that it will uh, stain it permanently. So you'd want to use a couple layers of uh, coffee paper, uh, coffee filter, and pour it in there, and then weigh it all out, uh, tarring out the uh, coffee filter, of course. Uh, okay, so I had the video up for a few moments, and I already got some really good questions. We had some, some questions about how it's actually done. So I'm going to go get some materials, and I'm going to show you. Uh, this is just a stain, for instance. For being on paper for about 15 seconds. You can see that. Uh, it stains it and it's still staining. It's, it's still penetrating the liquid and it actually went through the other side of the paper. So this was two sheets. Uh, that's why I said use multiple layers of a uh, coffee filter. Uh, and I can still smell it in the air. So let me go get a quart jug and some water. Okay, here we have one quart of water. You can see it's uh, it's not really clear. It's water straight from the Bronx tap. <laughs> so you can't even see through it. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. So this is one quart. I'm going to use a medicine dropper just so I don't, uh, well, we don't have to. But that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to fill this up. Here we go. I'm going to fill this up. You don't have to use a medicine dropper. I'm just doing that just for just to be a geek, I guess. Right? But you get the idea. You fill this up. Alright. We have our one ounce bottle with our seven and a half grams of elemental iodine and it's sitting in a water solution. Uh, I filled it up to about right there and you simply agitate the bottle and it takes about 20 seconds to fully saturate. Uh, once it's saturated, it's completely saturated, it's saturated. So you do that and I can smell it in the air. It's, 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 yeah, it's powerful stuff. Anyway, so after you do that, you, yeah, it's ready to go right now. So. Uh, you simply pour it off very slowly because it's going to get air in the bottle. And you want to keep the crystals at the bottom. And we're just going to pour it in. Just like so. Some of them will float. Uh, let's see. I was just waiting for some of the settlement to, uh, to go down. You can get a fine mesh screen for these. And it's not a, probably not a bad idea. But I'm going to use the cap to... Uh, Some would do that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm holding the cap, and it's just enough to let uh, enough of the liquid to go through. 
without pouring any of the uh, crystals into the liquid. All right, you can see it's turning yellow. All right, I stir rod. Actually, I'll use it just a bamboo stick here. <laughs> Looks pretty appetizing, doesn't it? But yeah, yeah, I can smell that. All right, so this will be dead in 20 minutes. We'll come back through the magic of YouTube. All right. All right, well, it's through the magic of YouTube. It's been 20 minutes, so let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's take a gulp, huh? Mmm, dead water. It's got, let's see, what kind of taste does it? It tastes like it's got something in it. Uh, it's not the most, it's very different. <laughs> I don't know what kind of taste it would describe. However, this would be uh, absolutely life-saving. Uh, you can certainly taste the iodine in here. Uh, it's not unpleasant. This will, this will kill thousands of gallons of water. All right. Uh, I know the label. I need to change the label on this because this is actually seven and a half grams, not fifteen. So I need to change that. But uh, so don't let that throw you off. All right. Uh, I just haven't changed the bottle. And you can see where I started to rip the the sticker off. I just never got around to it. All right, but uh, but that's how it's done. Okay, so yeah, that's that's how it's done. It tastes almost like uh, boy, what's it taste like? It tastes like not chlorinated water. But it certainly tastes something similar to pool water. <laughs> this is probably the closest thing that I can. That I can. It, it, it has the smell of chlorinate. It's it does. It's not chlorinated, but it has the same type of chemical smell that. Uh, uh, it's, it's similar. It's not the same, but it is similar. All right. You can tell there's something in the water. <laughs> But whatever is in there, it's still in there, but it's dead. All right, so you are just drinking dead bacteria and dead viruses and dead AIDS and stuff like that. So, okay. And this is completely reusable. And it will last for thousands of gallons of water. And that's for seven and a half grams. So if you buy the 15 gram bottle, uh, you can double that. So, yeah. Uh, you'd also want to make, maybe you can even make something while you're out there. Some sort of, uh, some kind of leather holder. So that if it does break on you, uh, if it does break, uh, you don't have elemental iodine all over the place. And worse yet, uh, broken glass when you slide your hand into the in your backpack or whatever have you so keep that in mind uh, yeah it's a nice little tip um, so that's how I purify water uh, you should try it out you should um, but you should follow the directions to the letter uh, really this is not something you want to play around with this is, it's, it can hurt you. Uh, this stuff, this can kill AIDS, okay? <laughs> it kills bacteria, it kills viruses. It kills things. This is what it does. That's why they use it for medical use, okay? It's dangerous stuff. Um, but we do eat it all the time. We have iodine in our salt. We call it iodized salt, right? I've heard that word before. But that's what that's what they're using. But they're using a very small amount of it. And uh, so that's that. Okay? That's how I purify water. Thousands of gallons you can do with this. But yeah, I would try it out in the field. 
You know, just try it at home, just to see what you'll like with it. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna taste it. Um, and if you're sensitive to iodine, I don't know, you may not make it. Sorry, but uh, hey, it's more food on the table, right? <laughs> Good night, ladies and germs. <laughs>